This is the ultimate smartphone video setup, and here's what you can do with it. Now, if you want to take cinematic video just like you saw with your smartphone, regardless of whether you have gear or no gear at all, and you just have your smartphone, I'm putting together a playlist of videos showing you how to take cinematic video with your smartphone. The playlist is going to be linked down below. So if you want to learn smartphone filmmaking, check out that playlist. I'll be covering everything you need to know to get started. Now, all of that was just from a day shoot where I just went with my siblings to downtown Milwaukee and we took some shots with this <laughs> crazy rig. And let's actually jump into what gear I'm using in this rig. We're gonna go from top to bottom. Uh, all the links will be down in the description if you wanna check them out. And they will be affiliate links, which means I make a commission if you use my link. Uh, starting at the top, we have the Rode NTG. Now this microphone is an absolute beast. It is literally the best audio you can get on a microphone. If you are looking for good audio, which why would you not be looking for good audio? The NTG literally gets the best audio, but great for YouTube, great for interviews, great for just capturing audio uh, within your scene. And even though it is a professional microphone, it has support for iPhone. There's actually a cord that you can buy separately from Rode that plugs right into the NTG and then plugs right into your iPhone. Uh, so that way you can have that professional audio on an iPhone uh, and it works great uh, with Filmic Pro. Now the rest of this video is actually gonna be using audio from the Rode NTG and now have it hooked up down below. Uh, I was using a Rode Micro before, uh, but just so you know, that's this is the audio and this is how it sounds. Uh, up next on our rig, we have a KNF ND filter, and it's a variable ND filter, so that way you can get a lower shutter speed, which is gonna make the video have that cinematic blur to it. So very useful. Now if we actually take this off here, what I have underneath is a beast grip, 1.55 anamorphic lens. Uh, that was my main uh, lens that I was using here and I loved it. It gave an awesome look to the footage uh, just with that bend and there were some lens flares even in the video that made it look really cool. Now obviously with that 1.55 anamorphic lens you need the beast cage or one of their beast cages. So I have the full beast cage on here. I love this thing. Uh, and then finally, on the bottom of our setup here is the Ronin SC2. So this is three axis stabilizer. And I had to go with something like this other than the regular smartphone stabilizer, obviously, because I have this heavy metal beast cage and the lenses and the microphone. And this gets the job done. It'll hold all that weight and you'll get awesome cinematic footage because this isn't cheap, really was easy to use, easy to just get up and start going with it, um, and gave me some awesome cinematic results. And then last, the iPhone I used was the iPhone 12 Pro Max. Very solid for filmmaking with a smartphone, especially because it has bigger lenses on it, so it lets in more low light. And then for the companion app, I used Filmic Pro, and I filmed in log version three, so I had a lot of, uh, dynamic range to work with when color grading my footage. For the editing aspect, I used LumaFusion. Uh, actually edited it all on my iPhone. I didn't use an iPad or an external display or anything like that. It was all edited by hand on my iPhone through LumaFusion. And if you don't have LumaFusion and you want to be professional, you need to get LumaFusion. It is the top of the top, best of the best app that you can get uh, to edit your videos on your smartphone. I have a tutorial to that 
app if you want to check it out it'll be linked down below and then for music i went with epidemic sound it's been a go-to to find awesome songs and sound effects for your videos or movies highly recommend it i have a referral link down below in the description if you want to check that out but yeah that is my whole setup process. Now, like I said, I'm going to have a link to the playlist down below to show you the basics of smartphone filmmaking so you can make great results just like this. So click on that playlist, and I hope to see you guys over there. Thanks for watching this video.